and click here on open and now choose your color they are in the same folder like the MDL, the, SM, the decompiled files and our FBX so click on open and he would also load the texture we can do the same with the chrome and we also found here our chrome texture so that's all the chrome texture is um, for our second polygon object that we see that's uh, glass on the helm so we have to connect them with our model and the easiest way is to put them into so they're connected if we move this he would also move this so very easy way and now we have to connect our bones with the model object so do the same only put them into and that's all we see now he's animate he has the animation and we see he's moving backward and then he's dying so we have now to fix that that he is walking forward but the object is moving backward and we can do that in the animation la layout so go into it and now at first I create a marker so I can decide or better see when which one started so at frame 68 our die animation or gut shot animation starts so I create a small marker at the current frame so this yellow thing and now we see the animation goes from 67 frames to 31 frame or better say it from 31 to 67 and this means the animation is 36 frames long so I want change the project setting I subtract here 36 frames so we end at negative 5 frames and we also changed our view we can link the view with the preview range and that means all we do here it happened here it happens here so it's the easiest way to work with the animation so now the problem is this person is uh, moving right but he is moving uh, the animation is right but the, ob the object is moving backward and we see that the um, set axis and we have to fix that so if we open the position we see here the problem this should be inverted so it not should going up it should going down so we can very easily select that and now we can move that in the opposite direction to our frame negative 5 no. that's it and now we can move the whole group into our animation and yes that's it so we see now moving upward and now it's right so we can also change our project to 7 and we can select all keyframes and moving them to frame 0 so we see th the last frame is at 90, d at 90 and also we can change that go into our standard layout and watch the animation of our CD model he's running and then he's falling or dying and yes that's the whole animation and uh, with that way you can animate your objects yourself with the help of the uh, of course existing animation from Counter-Strike and I hope you liked the tutorial and give me some feedback